Talking about trying to help the environment tonight, the campaign to save, hang on, the horseshoe crab. Yeah, under the heading, you probably didn't know this, horseshoe crabs are crucial for testing vaccines for bacteria or toxins. They're kind of the canary in the coal mine for vaccines. But now this creature that's been around for 455 million years, that's longer than dinosaurs, is in trouble, in part by fishermen who cut them up and use it for free bait. Here's Long Island reporter Kristen Thorne. If you've ever gotten a vaccine, including the COVID vaccine, guess who you have to thank? Horseshoe crabs. Yeah, really. The blue blood from this fascinating creature, a creature that's older than the dinosaurs, is used to detect bacteria or toxins in vaccines, medicines, and vitamins. Think of it as quality control. You would think that we would want to protect these animals at all costs, but that's not what's happening, according to Dr. John Tanacretti, who operates the only horseshoe crab breeding facility in the Western Hemisphere. This tank is. Uh where we keep the juveniles. It's at CIRCOM at Malloy College in West Sayville. He says the horseshoe crab population is declining in our area in part because of fishermen who use them for bait. They should not be captured for bait anymore. They need to be protected. New Jersey did that in 2007, making it illegal to harvest horseshoe crabs. But in New York State, someone can harvest up to five horseshoe crabs every day without a permit. With a permit, it could be 150 crabs daily. What you're doing is saving the fishermen having to buy bait. There have been many legislative attempts to try to change the horseshoe crab harvesting rules in New York, but none has passed. And although obtaining blue blood is relatively harmless to horseshoe crabs, think of it as us donating blood. It is a fact that thousands of horseshoe crabs die in the U.S. every year after being bled and put back in the water. Synthetic blue blood does exist, but the pharma industry has been reluctant to use it. So a creature that has survived all of Earth Earth's five mass extinctions is facing extinction yet again now with the hands of humans. It's on the vulnerable species list, which is why Tana Credi says we have to value the ones that we have. Once that animal is harvested and it's used for bait, it's gone. In West Sayville, Kristen Thorne, Channel 7 Eyewitness News. Did you know that? I did not know this. I think that's fascinating. Did you know that? No, I think a lot of people did. Well, we now know it now. Exactly. So